Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brooke. Today I am making a mushroom hat, which I know has been done before, but I'm gonna make it très chic so that it's like wearable. So it's kind of understated. Can I do it? I don't know, we'll see. Let's get started. Okay, so I think I'm going to do the gills first. I've got two types of fabric. This is a chiffon. It's just a white chiffon and it's a little too white for me. And then I got this very fine tool that's kind of like a cream color. So I'm going to layer them a little bit to kind of give it dimension. I've been brainstorming this in my head for weeks. So hopefully now that I'm actually attempting to do it, it will work. I don't know. Pray for me. I got these hats at Michael's. They were only like $4. So what I'm gonna do is measure the circumference around the hat. And then actually I'm gonna take that there first. Okay. Okay. And I'm just gonna overlap it a tiny bit. Great, okay. Now, now I think that's it. Okay, great. Oh yes, I do need to measure one more thing. The length from here to a little bit into the hat area, and that will give us our length, you'll see. So about there, I'm just gonna use this as my little measuring tool. And then we don't need this anymore. I think I might just trim that top edge off just for my own sanity so I don't have to really line it up. And you know what? I think this is about the length. Oh my gosh, it's the exact length of this. So I'm just gonna cut this in strips. Oh, that's a win. Both of my cameras went off quite a while ago. So what I've done is I've gathered the length of my fabric. I have them layered together. So I've got the white chiffon on top and then this like off-white brown tool underneath. And I'm just sewing it along the length of the ribbon and I'm pleating it as I go. Okay, so that's what you've missed. You really just missed me getting frustrated. <laughs> but I've got a system now. I am pinning, using my middle finger to fold over, and then I sew. So I'm giving this like a pretty generous pleat. And once the machine starts to catch the beginning of that pleat, I'm gonna go in for the next one because I don't want them too far apart. So I pin, fold, and so. Okay, so now I'm coming to the edge and I still have a length and I'm gonna give this a fold over once and then just layer it right on top. So I'm folding that over, I'm gonna stick it right on top and so. So now it's attached to the ribbon and I can start pleating. See, I'm taking my middle finger right here and pushing that back over and then sewing. And it's just caught that pin fold. Then I will just cut this off. So now we have this gathered fabric. I want to paint the hat because I don't want to paint it after I put the fabric on and then accidentally paint the fabric. Okay, full disclosure. You're going to see me make a toadstool mushroom and then I'm going to hate it and then 
you'll see the gray mushroom that you saw at the beginning of the video. I just left this all in there so that it makes sense because I actually have to paint over the original hat. Um, and maybe you can learn from my mistakes or maybe you want to see how the toadstool looks and you like it. So anyway, that's in there. Here we go. I grabbed a couple shades of red. If you haven't seen these yet, I have a video on how to DIY these cute little clay mushrooms that you can use as ornaments or glue them on things. They're made out of paper clay. They're really fun and easy to make. So I'm going to go very, very lightly here. So if it like piles up anywhere, pools up, um, just make sure to go through and kind of spread that out. And you probably want to put down some newspaper. This is just contact paper and it's kind of on its last leg. Um, I don't like this. Listen, I just ate a piece of cake over the sink and I've had a moment of clarity and we're just going to change it. And sometimes I think you just need to eat a piece of cake over the sink to know what you really want. So let's repaint this. It's going to be great. I am a little regretful that I have so much paint on this hat now, but it is what it is. Here we go. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Okay, so what I am doing here is I am laying down the fabric on the edge of the hat and I am doing it white side down. I initially sewed this, but my sewing machine ate through the straw. It was just a little bit too aggressive. So for this application, I recommend using a hot glue gun and you're just going to lay down that ribbon on the side that is the side that you want facing out. I wanted the white side on top with the brown tool underneath. So I am layering this with the white on the bottom and the brown on top. And when I flip it all over, the white will be on top. And the reason I'm doing it that way is to keep that edge a little bit cleaner. If you don't flip it over and you just glue it with the brown side on the bottom and the white on top, you're gonna have an ugly unfinished edge. So make sure to glue it that way, and then flip it over. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Once you have all that fabric flipped to the inside, you can start to pin those pleats in place. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Um, with some hot glue, just do it in sections, little by little, and I actually used a chopstick because this fabric is so sheer that the hot glue will come through and you don't wanna burn yourself. So get yourself some kind of tool that you can use to pin the fabric down as the glue sets. That inner rim now is pretty messy, so I used a little bit of lace to just kind of finish off that edge. And again, use your tool to pin the fabric down. This is very sheer. I burnt myself a few times. That's pretty normal for me, but try not to do it yourself. Once you get to the end of your line, you can just fold that end over and glue it right on top of where you started. And then I went through and anything that wasn't really tacked down, I just kind of tucked it under that ribbon. Now these pom-poms are probably my favorite part. Even though the edge is clean enough, I think this just gives it a really nice finishing touch and adds a little bit of texture and whimsy. It's, they're just really fun. I cut a couple strips of that chiffon for the ties and just laced it through the little holes that are already on the side of the hat. This definitely starts to come unraveled, so you might want to use something else, but from far away, it looks really good. <laughs> Chase thought the ties were a little bit nerdy, so I have them tucked up into the hat in these shots, but I wore them for the rest of the day for the record, they're very functional and I'm going to add them to all my hats now. So be honest, would you have the gills to wear a hat like this? Do you guys get it? The gills? Because it must, okay. 
As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This was a really fun project and I hope you try it. Let me know if you do. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. I will be back next week with another DIY. I have good news. I ended up replacing that countertop that I got paint all over. It's actually sitting right in front of me. And I went to North Hollywood and got a slab of real marble. I'm really excited to share that. I'll take you on that little adventure next week. And until then, have a great weekend. Stay crafty. Turn yourselves into mushrooms. And I'll see you next time. 